Hi, what's your vibe? What's your frequency? You hear those questions a lot lately, and what do they really mean? This is Lila coming to you from the Redwood Forest, and I just wanted to talk today a little bit about the subject of frequency and vibe. So we're not talking about our metabolism, our energy levels. This is about something much deeper. If we look at the frequency of the Earth with all of its electrical storms, magnetic fields, uh, and internal heat, it hums along at a frequency of about 7.82 hertz. It's called the Schumann resonance. It was discovered or recognized in the 80s officially, and sometimes it runs a little higher, but it hums along nicely at that rate to hertz is spelled H-E-R-T-Z, and it measures energy waves from the top of one wave to the top of the next. So if we now imagine that everything has that kind of energy wave about it, some kind of a frequency of energy coming off of it, let's jump to the human body. A human body, when everything is humming along nice and healthily, when we're happy, uh, our frequency can run about 10 times that of the Earth's, so around 68 to 72 hertz. And if we have reason to become sad or depressed, our frequency goes down. It can go down a couple of hertz, it could go down 5 hertz. If we get sick, it could go down 10 hertz, or the flu, or if we got a terminal illness, it continues to decrease until the point of where our body starts to die, which is around 24 hertz. So it's very interesting that there are things that we can do to help raise our hertz. Uh, eating healthy foods, essential oils, those are natural ways to raise the frequency of our body back up into that optimal range, 72 hertz. Um, but also it's interesting that when we are in fear or anger, our hertz go down, our frequency goes down, and it has nothing to do with our energy. We may be all full of adrenaline from being angry or being in fear. It's that frequency that goes down. So on the opposite end of the spectrum, we can raise our frequency and it's measurable using biofield meters, for example. We can raise the frequency of our biofield by something like meditation, prayer, song, or just being in a f the feelings of gratitude or compassion will raise those frequencies. So next time someone asks you what your vibe is, Think about how you're feeling, what's your mood, and are you feeling in that peaceful, happy state? Thanks, and we'll see you soon.